All right, let's get this video started. It took me forever to set up the camera, lights, and um, the audio, the mic, but here we are. Since a lot of you guys asked me what my calorie intake was, um, I thought I'm just gonna create a video, show you guys exactly how to determine how much calories, how many calories you need, how much protein, blah, 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 blah. There are a lot of different approaches out there on how to determine how many calories you need, but uh, this one is pretty simple and that's why I like it because it works for me and yeah, so I wanna share that with you. Let's just jump right into it. So. I didn't even know where I put it, right here. What I wanna start with is this. Um, very important to know that one gram of protein has four calories, one gram of carbs has four calories, and one gram of fat has nine calories. This is the most important thing to know for this equation. So let's start with how many calories do I need on a daily basis. The formula is body weight times 13 to 16, um, I personally put myself at a 15 because I do personal training, so I move a lot throughout the entire day. Um, I work out for myself as well, so I'm pretty active. I barely sit down during the day. I mean, yeah, when I edit a video, but like that's an hour, two hours a day, but for the rest of the day, I'm just running around and doing stuff. For example, if you work at an office and you sit at a desk the entire day, you might wanna put yourself lower at like 13 to 13 and a half, 14. And if you're like a pro athlete, then you probably put yourself at like 16. Here's what I did. Calories, for me, I weigh 180 pounds times 15 equals 2,700 calories. So that's what I need on a daily basis to keep my muscle mass, to keep the body that it looks right now. Protein, how much protein should you take on a daily basis? I personally love, um, just one gram per pound of body weight. There are people out there who take like 1.5 or even more. Um, I'm on a plant-based diet, so for me, one gram works perfectly fine. If you wanna reduce the protein intake to like 0.8, that's fine too, but like I said, for me personally, I've seen the best results um, when I did one gram per pound of body weight. So. Right here, again, body weight 180 pounds times one is 100, 180 grams of protein on a daily basis. Let's talk about fat. So there are many studies out there that say 0.3 to 0.4 grams per pound of body weight is great. I personally work the best if I'm at 0.5 grams of fat per pound of body weight. So like I said, I'm on a plant-based diet, so I have a lot of plant-based fats like avocado, nuts and seeds, and I really need that to recover faster from my workouts because I tried reducing the fat intake. First of all, I had to increase the carb intake, which didn't work out for me because I added more body fat. So I reduced carb, my carb intake and increased the fat intake, and all of a sudden like I lost body fat while maintaining my muscle mass and at the same time recover way faster to go back at the gym. Fat 180 times 0.5 is 90 grams of fat. But like I mentioned in the beginning, you can do 0.3 to 0.4 grams of fat per pound of body weight and you're perfectly fine. Let's talk about my favorite topic, carbs. I just, I just love carbs, like pasta, rice, potatoes, I could eat it every single day. But it's important to know how many grams of carbs you should eat a day, you know, if you want to be shredded. If you want to have that six pack, this is an important topic right now, carbs. This is a little different, so as you guys can see, we had, you know, 15 up here to um, determine how many calories I need, then we had one gram of uh, protein and 0.5 for fat. And for carbs, what I usually do is I use the calories, um, and this is where this comes back in play. Like the protein has four calories, one uh, carb has four calories, and the fat has nine calories. Now pay attention, we are here, carbs. We have 2,700 calories that I need on a daily basis to keep my 180 pounds of body weight. I subtract, um, 720, that is 180 times four. So that's my protein. And I also subtract, sub, subtract oh my God, 90 grams um, times nine, which is 810, which leads to 1,170 um, calories divided by four calories per carb equals 292 grams of carbs. 
So this is what I need on a daily basis to keep 180 pounds on my body. Okay, now let's move on to a frequently asked question where it's like, hey, now I know what it is, but how do I lose weight, right? Or how do I gain weight? For me, it's always been, how do I gain weight? Because I always wanted to, um, you know, be bigger, and be, you know, bulky, like be fucking massive. Uh, so this is what I do. Some people might tell you, yeah, increase by 250 to 300 calories per day, and then over time you will see, you know, uh, a substantial muscle gain. For me, that is to, I don't know, like I, I don't wanna play with like 200, should I increase to 250, should I increase to 300? That's not my style. So here's my mentality if I wanna gain weight. So let's just say I'm at 180 right now, and I wanna weigh 190 pounds. Instead of adding like 200, 300 calories a day, this is what I'm doing. So let's say I wanna be in the future, goal is 190 pounds. Okay? So let me step over here. So this is where I am right now, and this is my goal 190 pounds. Okay? So this is step number one. So now I know instead of 2,700, I need 2,850 calories to get to that goal. And now I'm just gonna do the same math just over here, so give me a second. So here it is. You guys can see it's not a big difference. It's a really small difference. Um, it's exactly over here, 150 calories, right? And that, what I mentioned earlier, people add like 200 calories, 300 calories if they wanna gain weight or if they wanna lose weight. If they wanna lose weight, they just subtract 200, 300, 500 calories where you, where you go into a deficit and then your body's in a shock and then it's like, oh my God, I cannot lose weight. And then the cycle happens, right? So this is super easy and you know exactly and mentally you, you're gonna know, okay, cool, this is what I need to be 170, 180, 190 pounds. So again, all I did was I established where I am right now, 180 times 15, because this is how much I move every single day, is this is my calorie intake that I need for 180 pounds. Now my goal is 190 pounds, um, same thing, 2,850 calories. So 150 calories difference on a daily basis. Over time, that makes a big difference. Protein is just 10 grams for fats, it's five grams of difference. And over here we are at 16. Is that correct? Eight, 17. <laughs> 17. 17 grams of carbs different. I right, guess so. This is the calculation that you might want to do if you're serious about you know getting into shape, especially when summer comes around, and you want to make sure that you eat enough or you know just enough to lose weight. Because some people struggle with, yeah, I eat four times a day, but they eat such small portions that they end up eating, I don't know, probably like 1500 calories and then they're not gaining muscle mass or losing body fat because your body's just stressed because you burn 2700 calories a day and you only feed your body 1500 where your body's like, oh my God. All right guys, so that's it. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. This was the very first um, educational video on my channel because usually I just share my workout plans. I talk a little bit about it. It's a little bit more motivational. But yeah, if you wanna see more videos like this where I explain nutrition or like workouts or exercises or whatever it is, um, leave a comment below, let me know what that is. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Also leave a like on this video and that's about it. That's all I want from you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.